Hey guys, now in this video, let's discuss Graph API with Azure Active Directory. Now guys, in simple words, please understand that we can use Graph API to connect to Azure Tenant from our c -sharp code. For example, using Graph API, we can read the users from Tenant. We can invite new users from our c -sharp code. Now guys, as far as this video is concerned, we are not going to discuss or work with Graph API yet. Instead, first we will understand below concepts in detail. That is, we will understand what is tenant and AD. Then we will understand what are the users in tenant. And then we will understand what is app registration in tenant and why it is used. See guys, imagine this is Azure Cloud. And in this Azure cloud, there are many, many tenants. So for example, this can be one tenant. This is another tenant. This is another tenant. So all these are tenants. Now in simple words, consider one tenant as one organization or one company. So for so for example, this can be a tenant for let's say ABC technology services. And this can be a tenant for let's say XYZ consultancy services. See guys, tenants, they separate the boundaries in between different customers of Azure Cloud. See guys, again, this is one tenant and this is for ABC technology services, right? So this is one of the customers of Azure Cloud. Then this is another customer of Azure Cloud that is XYZ Consultancy Services. And you can see because we have tenants, we have separated the boundaries for these tenants. So in simple words, you can consider a tenant. It is like a universe for that organization or for that company. So whatever users we create for that organization or whatever applications we create for that organization, that is app registrations, they will be in that tenant only. Okay. And one more thing guys, when we create a free account in Azure using our Gmail ID, even in that case, one separate tenant is created for us. Let me show you that. So guys, we are in Azure portal and now let's click on this Microsoft Enter ID. So guys, now we are in this default directory. So guys, first thing in simple words, consider a tenant is nothing but a Azure active directory. So Again, tenant is active directory. Actually, active directory is attached to a tenant, but let's keep it simple. And again, let's assume tenant is equal to active directory. So again, we are in this tenant or you can consider we are in this active directory. And guys, if you see, I have created this account with my personal email ID that is herschel.jn.net, right? So when I created this free account using my credit card, Azure created a separate tenant for me and you can see this is a tenant ID and this is the domain attached to this tenant. So again, this tenant itself is a separate organization itself and in this tenant, of course, here, if you see users, I can create or add new users, then under applications, I can create or add new applications. So again, this is also a tenant. And now guys, let's discuss users in tenant. So basically in simple words, we can add users in this tenant. So let's say we, we may have a user, let's say Neil, David, Mark Phillips and like that. So these users, that is the users from this tenant, you can call it as the members of this tenant. So these are members or users. So guys, for example, let's say if the domain for this ABC technology services is let's say abcd.com. Then email ID of this user that is Neil David, it will be something like neil.david at the rate abcd.com, right? So again, these users, they are the members of this tenant. And in simple words, you can consider these are the employees of this organization. So it's obviously the email ID for these employees, it will be at the rate abcd.com. But then in this tenant, can we add the users with Gmail ID? That is the users with their personal email ID? Yes. So we can add the users with Gmail ID, but then these users, they will be added as guest users. 
so don't worry guys if you are not getting it at this point anyway we will see the demos of it in our upcoming videos and now finally what is app registration right so guys let's imagine this is our custom app or custom service and this custom service now it wants to read the users from this active directory so to enable this custom service to work with this active directory that is to read the users from this active directory we use app registration so basically what we do is we simply go to this tenant and we create something called app registration so this will be app registration and now this app registration it will have something called client id and then for this app registration we add something called client secret as well and then we simply configure this client id and this client secret within our custom service and now you can imagine that this custom service it has now got the required access or required permission to work with this tenant that is now it can read the users from this tenant so that's it guys for this video basically we just wanted to understand the basic concepts and of course we will see the practicals in our upcoming videos thank you